<laughs> oh, I'm just doing my best impersonation of the Bengals with the Steelers. Anyway, YouTube. Team keep it clean. What is going on and then what went on with the Steelers? I guess the, the Bengals are just tired. They were so tired of year after year after year with the Steelers just beating them down. They said, you know what? Enough is enough. We're not taking it anymore. So shout out to the Bengals for that. And like again, literally sweeping the Steelers this year for the first time since 2009. Like that's 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 a long time. But anyway. Um, let, let me stop talking too much because we, we got beat down by the Bengals earlier this year, too. But anyway, so <laughs> Ooh, and now we got to play them in since. <sighs> so the game that I wanted to talk about, well, not even the game because I didn't watch it. Uh, I was just hoping that things went the Ravens way. Um, but that was with the Patriots and the Titans. And today I, I tweeted it out. I said, go Pats. Take care of them Titans. And the Pats took it. It was close for a little while. But the Pats end up taking care of business and beating the Tennessee Titans. And that was nice. Because what that does, this puts the Ravens in position to jump up to not only first place in their division. Because they are that right now. But this puts the Ravens in position to jump up to first place in the AFC. In the entire conference. And who would have thought that Ravens would actually be in a position to overtake first place in the conference with all their injuries? As much as we or myself have complained about different coaching errors and different execution errors and just the, the fact that this team, they, they make things hard. I feel like this team makes things harder on themselves a lot more than they have to. Who would have thought that they would be in this position? To if they get a win tonight against the Browns, then ooh, <laughs> they they in first place in the conference. Now we know it's still early, it's still early, but that would be nice because right now it's it's been nice watching the NFL today because we start. I, I love when we see uh, this is the number one seed, number two seed, and and these teams are in the wild card and, and these teams are in the hunt. I love when we see those graphics because that means it's crunch time. That means like it's already playoff mode right now. Like early in the season, you, you get out your early season blunders and whatnot, and you hope that you correct those mistakes and whatnot moving forward so your team can be, can be as strong as they can be. But now, now is where it all counts that much more. So Ravens, although they, they are in, they, they have control of their destiny. Like y'all, I know, know y'all love that little cheesy saying that NFL be saying, oh, they control their own destiny. But I'm scared. I, and I'm being straight up with y'all. I am scared for tonight because I'm just, I don't know what Ravens team is going to show up. And it just seems like everything. I was just telling one of my guys earlier today, it just seems like everything is just aligning so perfectly for the Ravens. But will they take that opportunity? Will they take that advantage? Because a lot of times the Ravens have been, been in position before to really take a firm, firm control over the AFC North. And they ended up coming up short. And we don't know the status of Brandon Williams. I think he'll play. Calais Campbell, I don't think he'll play. But, hey, we don't know. And Browns are getting healthy. Ravens getting some pieces back, too, like Malik Harrison and whatnot. And hopefully Averitt plays tonight. Um, but I just, I, I'm, I'm scared because I don't know what Ravens team will show up. I just don't. So we'll sit back and watch and, of course, hope for the best and hope that these Ravens, they take care of business. But I am fully expecting a stressful game. I don't expect it to be a blowout. I expect whoever wins this game to win by two points. I just can't see no blowout. Now, if the Ravens took care of business and they blew the Browns, oh, yeah, no problem. I'm with it. But I just don't expect it. So, team, keep it clean. I see y'all on the stream. Patriots, thank you for taking care of business against the Titans. I just feel like as long as Ravens make the playoffs, I expect them to. It's going to be hard, and I feel like they're going to stress us out. But I feel like the Ravens are just, I feel like they're going to end up having to see the Patriots in the playoffs. I, just, I don't know. That, maybe it's just me. We'll, and we'll see. Obviously, Ravens got to get there first. Patriots got to get there first too now. But they, they've been on fire recently. 
But I just, and shout out to Matt Judon getting another sack today. Because I was watching the game early on, and they were, oh, Matt Judon. He got another sack. And it wasn't a sack where he came free. He had to beat the offensive lineman. So that was that. But anyway, I just feel like the, the Ravens and the Patriots are like on this collision course. Again, maybe it's just me, and we, we got to see how everything shakes out. But anyway, I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you tonight as we enter Stress City uh, as the Ravens take on the Browns. I'll see you on the live stream. We out.